Hello, my name is Amy Newfield and I'm a functioning anxious adult. This is May and we're in the middle of Mental Health Awareness Month and I wanted to be vulnerable for all of you. I think that we don't like to talk about mental health disease because we're afraid of trying to solve someone's problems or we think they just need to get their shit together and solve their own problems. I don't wanna hear about their depression. I don't wanna hear about their anxiety. I think others of us are cynical and we feel like people use mental health ailments as an excuse of why they can't go to work or why they can't perform to the best of their ability. But having anxiety for my entire life, I can tell you that that's not true. There was a time in my life that anxiety was very demotivating for me. It was actually harming me. Right now I'm functioning very well with it. But it took me probably 20 years to figure out what really worked for me and my own personal journey. So I want to share with you just a little bit about my own personal journey if you're also an anxious individual. And so if you're not an anxious individual, I would encourage you still to listen because you probably know somebody who is anxious. So for me, one of the big things that I found in my much younger years is I did not get a lot of sleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night and my brain just would not shut up. It wouldn't shut up. If I wish there was like a little button you could press on your forehead and just go boop and then it would shut off all your thoughts so that you could just have a nice night's sleep. Instead of getting up at one, two, three in the morning where your anxiety gets you up and you start worrying about or solving the problems to things. So anxiety, there's only really one cause to it, and it's the what ifs. It's the things you have no control over. Isn't that the truth? Uh, and you worry about that. That's what anxiety is. One of the things that I got to figuring out about maybe a decade or so ago was that if I could ground myself into the what is, that was really important. If I could take my mind off of worrying about the what ifs, the fear of the unknown, the things that I had no control about, the you know, oh my gosh, this is going to ruin my life type of, of things and put it into the look at my beautiful dog or focus on a movie or read a book and immerse myself, the anxiety went down. The other thing that I found is I'm an active meditator. This was a term that a, someone who does yoga actually gave to me because I don't like the calm meditative yoga. I like the yoga where it's like Bikram yoga or vinyasa yoga where you're hot and sweating and it's like a full workout. I also love trail running. I think trail running is fantastic because the only thing I can think about is root, rock, and tree. Root, rock, tree, root, rock, tree. The minute I take my brain off of what every single footprint is doing on the earth, is the minute I fall onto a rock and smash my face or my leg, and I've done countless, anybody who does enough trail running, you know you fall. And most of the time why you fall is because you're not paying attention. So I have to actively focus on every single step that I take, and therefore, I can't worry about anything else. The other thing that really calms me is scuba diving. I love the ocean, just being neutrally buoyant in the water, just hovering there with the sound of your own breath. It's absolutely amazing. And there's so many other things that are going on. You can't worry about your day because you're visually looking at this underwater world, which is spectacular. So that's a little bit about my personal journey and kind of what works for me. I encourage you to figure out what works for you. Figure out how you can get your brain off of worrying about the what ifs and put yourself into the what is, is going to be such a better way of managing your anxiety. And then certainly always talk to a professional. That can't be understated. There's a lot of professionals to help you. There's medications to help you. Um, just getting better sleep. Being active, avoid all the naughty things like the caffeine and the alcohol and the drugs. I know I'm not fun at all. Um, you know, certainly reduce your carbohydrate sugar intake, but I love chocolate. That's not going to happen. And then identifying your triggers also. So thank you so much for listening. Let's break the stigma about talking about mental health. I have gotten a lot more comfortable about it. I literally say to my uh, colleagues at times like, hey, uh, my anxiety is really up over X, Y, and Z. Let's talk about it so I have to worry less about it. I think those are the kinds of conversations that help us in life. Thank you so much for all that you do and keep on being a unicorn.